Hello boys and girls. Today I am going to explain how to make this leprechaun craft. To make this craft, we you need the items that you see here. We need these two pieces of green paper, this black sheet of paper. You need an orange paper, a pa paper for his face, and another piece of orange paper, and a glue stick. The first thing that we're gonna do on our leprechaun craft is to make his hat. So you need two these two pieces of construction paper and this black sheet of construction paper. So what I'm gonna do now, our hat goes this way, not this way. So you want your hat tall. So put it to where it is as tall as you can get it like that. And then you're gonna put a little bit of glue right here all the way across the bottom. You don't need much, you just need one strip all the way across the bottom. Then you're gonna take this piece, which is the brim of his hat, and you're going to put it on top of that and try to put it in the middle. You want the same amount of space on this side as you do on this side, and then you're just gonna press it down like so. Just like that. Not beating it, I'm just pressing because I really want it to stick nicely. Then I'm going to take this black sheet of construction paper and I'm gonna put glue on the back of that, and I'm gonna place this here like so. So that goes on that part of his hat. Right there, so I'm going to take this and I'm going to glue, put glue on the back. Now I'm going to outline the edges and then I'm going to glue on the inside. Then I'm going to place this on top of the hat like that to make his little cross part and I'm going to press that down. Just like so. Now we have his hat completed. The next step is to make his face. So you need your orange sheet of paper and whatever color that your face is that you chose, and you're going to glue your face down right here like that. Now, I want you to notice, this is very important. You want to put this face, you want to put it at the very top edge of your beard, and then you want to leave the same amount of space on this side as you have on this side. So you want this face to be in the center of his beard. So to do that, I am going to take this off, I'm gonna turn it over, and I am once again going to outline the whole outside, the perimeter of his face, like so. So I'm gluing all the way around, and then I'm gonna put a couple of strips in the center. Now I'm gonna turn him over, I'm gonna line him up carefully, don't be in a rush to do this, Put it at the very top edge of your beard and put it in the center. So you want to get, you want to have the same amount on both sides, just like so. Then press down the entire face. Press it down because you really want it to stay there. All right, now that part of his face is done. Now the next step is to take this strip of construction paper and you're going to tear it to make his beard look 3D. So I'm gonna take it, I'm gonna tear a little strip here, then I'm gonna tear little strips. I don't want big strips, but I want little strips about like that. Okay, just like that. Just tear them, tear plenty of strips. If you get them too big, you can always make them smaller. You don't want them too small, but you definitely don't want them too big. Because you really want it to look 3D and look like he has hair on his beard. Then what you're gonna do, the easiest way to probably do it is just hold your glue stick up like that, put this down like that on there, and then put it on the orange part. Now this is his beard, so you're gonna put it on the orange part like that. Start at one edge and just work your way around until you get the entire beard filled. Okay, just like so. And then you might find areas where you have little pieces that you can put on there. Like right here, I need a little piece right here, so I'm gonna do that. And it's okay if you overlap it. You actually want to overlap it because that's gonna look, make it look more realistic and like it is hair on his beard. Like so, so you're gonna continue that all the way around until you get right here and get it finished. Now, once you get his beard completely done, it is time to add his hat onto him. So we're gonna take our hat that we already put together 
and it's going to sit right here. Now, it's okay if it goes over part of your beard. That's not a big deal because it has to be attached. So, you're going to put it just like that. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn my hat over and I'm going to put a little glue here. Now, I don't need it across the whole piece because, look, if you look at this, you have some overhang of his face. So you want to start about where the black is and go to about where the black is on the other side. So I'm going to start here, about where this piece is right here. See this piece? That's where you want to go. You want to put a strip of glue right here like that, and you're going to stop right there. And then I'm going to put a little bit more on there, just like so, and then stop it. Remember, do not go all the way to the edge because you don't need that much because his face is not as wide as his hat. So then I'm going to put this here, and I'm going to put it right here on top, just like so, and press it down. Don't worry about covering over his beard a little bit, because you're gonna, it's going to be okay, and it's going to be all the way completed. So you're going to keep gluing those down like that, like so, and you're going to keep going. And if it's hanging a little off of his face, that's okay, because again, that makes it more realistic. All right, after you do that, now it's time to make his face. So you're going to make a couple of eyes. Make them pretty good size. See now, this, this eye I like better than I like this eye because it's a little bit bigger. So I'm gonna erase this and I'm going to make this eye a little bit bigger. It's very important that you do this with your pencil not your marker because it's still not great, but it's okay. You cannot erase a marker. So then I'm going to take this part. That's going to be my pupil part. Like so. Looks pretty cute. Now I'm just going to do a little kind of a sideways, small little U for his nose. Then I'm going to make him smiling because he's a happy leprechaun. So I'm going to make him smile. All right, then after that, what you can do is I will give you a small little Sharpie that you can use to go over this and color in the black part of his eye, the pupil, and then you can outline his nose, and then you can get a red marker or a red crayon and do his mouth like so. Then I want you to notice, see these? That makes him look even cuter. Those are little eyebrows. So I am going to make myself some eyebrows, and notice they're fairly long. So again, I just tore paper. And I took a strip and I tore, I did a strip about like that and a strip about like that. Now, to me, that looks a little wide, so I'm going to do that. I'm going to take a little bit off of it because I like that. And I kind of like it angled. Now, it's probably a little bit too long, so I'm going to tear a little bit of it off because I don't want it on his hat. Now, what I maybe should have done was, and I think I'm going to do so, I think I put his eyes up too high. So, I'm going to erase my eyes. And I'm going to lower the eyes a little bit so I have room to put his eyebrows and they don't run into his hat. So I'm going to lower these down here a little bit like this. No big deal. I made a mistake. I just fixed it. There we go. There we go. So now look at it. Okay, now I should have room to put this on there. And I kind of like it at a little angle like that because that just makes it look real, real cute. Then I'm going to take this piece and I'm going to tear this a little bit. Then also, and I'm going to glue that up there. See, isn't it cute? So now again, have your glue stick straight up. Take your little strip, put it on the top of your glue like that, and then place it where you want it. Over his eye, like so. And then I'm going to do this one the same way. Get the whole length of it done. Then I'm going to put that right like that. I want it. And you know, there he is. Doesn't he look cute? Like so. Now that we have our leprechaun craft completed, it's time for the next step. Now, I have been reading to you the book Jamie O'Rourke and the Big Potato, and we have practiced retelling that with strips up on the smart board. So now, you're going to take your pictures, your strip, and you're going to place it on our leprechaun's hat. Now, this says, I can retell the story using key details, Jamie O'Rourke and the Big Potato. 
The first thing that you've got to do is you've got to take your scissors, so you're gonna need scissors now, and you're going to cut all of this apart. So I'm gonna start off by cutting this piece right here off, like so. And then I'm gonna take it and I'm gonna cut here. I'm gonna cut here. So I'm just cutting straight up the middle on the dotted line. And then I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna cut here. And I'm gonna continue doing that until I get it all now cut. I have all my pieces cut out. The first thing that I wanna do is I wanna place this part telling you what I can do, my I can statement. I wanna glue it and put it on the brim of his hat just like that. So I'm gonna take my glue and I'm going to turn this over and I'm gonna put glue on the back, all over the back of it. And then I'm gonna press this down onto the brim of his hat. And I'm gonna try to put it in the center just because I think that makes it look better and neater. So I'm gonna put it like that. And that's then I'm gonna press down. Then I'm going to take each part of my restrip, my retelling pictures, and I'm gonna put them in order on my hat. So I've gotta think back to what happened in the story first. Well, I knew at first Jamie was a pretty lazy guy who didn't really do any work, so the hose sitting behind him. Then I know that his wife had to do all the work and she ended up hurting her back, so she couldn't get out of bed. That's what happened next. Then Jamie decided he needed to go to the priest and give a confession. So on his way, he ran into a leprechaun. He found a leprechaun. So I'm gonna continue doing that. Now I'm gonna space these. There are 10 pictures here that you have. So you need to make sure that you can fit them all on your hat. So then I'm gonna keep going and I'm continue telling, retelling the story and putting my pictures in order. Now, if you need help, I'll have the one that we did together up on the board and you can use that to help. So you. Once you have all of your retelling strips glued onto your leprechaun's hat, it's time to find a partner and retell the story using the pictures to your partner. For example, I'm gonna get you started on that. Jamie O'Rourke was a very lazy man and didn't do any work, so his wife had to do all the work and she ended up hurting her back. So Jamie decided he needed to go find a priest and give him a confession, but on his way, he ran into a leprechaun and he caught that leprechaun. And instead of the leprechaun giving Jamie his gold, he gave him this pratty seed that was gonna grow a great big giant potato. And here's that potato. Then the town's folks came to help him because the potato got stuck in the ground. He couldn't get it out. So the town folks came and helped him. When they helped him, it got stuck in between the road and so on. So what I want you to do is practice retelling this story using those pictures.